All right, in this video, we're going to discuss what is a mansard roof. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Zach Bligensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor and roofing contractor in over nine states. I'm also a former U.S. military veteran. Oh, thank you, Angie. You're welcome. Is this my coffee? Yep. Oh, perfect. Well, the cup's a little strange, but thank you. Well, I just want to make sure you feel comfortable with who you're getting your information from. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Okay, to summarize what we're going to go over in the video, we're mainly going to be talking about Mansard Bruce, the benefits, risk, and then the facts about the roofs themselves. Let's get started. Okay, let's start off and define what is a mansard roof. Well, a mansard roof is also known as a French or curb roof. It's a hybrid four-sided design between a hip roof and a gambrel roof. Now, you may be familiar with what a hip roof is, but very few people know what a gambrel roof is. So this is some examples of what a hip roof looks like, what a gambrel roof looks like, and what a hip roof looks like. Now, mansard roofs also have a few architectural design variations between the convex, straight, and the concave design. Here again are some photo examples of the difference between a convex, excuse me, a convex, straight, and concave design of a mansard roof. Now we know it's kind of difficult to determine what is a mansard roof because there's a bunch of different designs. You know, they're not very common in some areas, some areas are more common, but the number one telltale factor, whether it's a mansard roof or not, is gonna have gradients on all four sides. So you wanna be looking out for that if you're trying to identify whether this is a mansard roof or not. All right, so let's talk about some of the advantages of a mansard roof. Now, first off, a lot of people just love the look of a mansard roof just because it's got the older colonial feel. Uh, it's perfect for farms or farmhouses or anything out in the country. People just love the look of a mansard roof. Also, it provides just a lot more attic space due to the design and architecture of a mansard roof. It's designed to maximize square footage, so a lot of times you're going to get extra attic space than what you would from a really steep pitched roof. It's also very easy to add on or expand the roof. So if you're wanting to do an add-on to the house or you're wanting to do some more rooms or a huge renovation, a mansard roof design is very easy for you to go ahead and expand that house. Um, it also has a lot of flexibility both in urban areas and in rural areas, just the base of the way it looks. It's, it's different, you're gonna stick out a little bit more uh, with that type of roof design than what your you know, standard gable or hip roof design is. So it's very flexible in terms of its aesthetics, both rural and urban. And then also the last thing that it does is it improves heat distribution. Again, just based on the way that this roof is designed, you don't have as much, uh, like a really steep pitch roof, you have a lot of heat that comes straight up based on the design. It, it distributes the heat a lot better in the home. And so a lot of people like that, particularly if they're, again, out in the country or using a more primitive way of heating the home. So if we talked about the advantages to a mansard roofing system, we obviously gotta talk about the disadvantages. And to me, the number one disadvantage of this type of roofing system is they're just more expensive. Whether you're replacing these, you're repairing these, or just doing maintenance. As a contractor, we're gonna to have to charge more because the labor is gonna be more expensive because it's just harder for the guys to work on. You got some really steep areas, you've got transition points. So the part on the labor is just more expensive. And then two, the material is going to be more expensive as well because there's just more waste that goes involved and there's more parts that you're going to need for a mansard type of roof design. So we're going to have to charge more as a contractor. So as a homeowner, it's going to cost you a little bit more money as well. Also, even if you're building a new house and you're wanting to install these, all the same thing applies. It's just going to be a little bit more expensive for you to install these. 
Now, as a contractor, the thing that I don't like about Mansard roofs is they are more resistant to storm damage, particularly from wind damage. Because of the very steep sides that are, that are on there, they're a little bit more, uh, more apt to lose shingles. You're gonna deal with, you know, more, again, more repair costs on these type of roofing systems in general. I feel like a hip design or any type, actually just about any type of roof design, particularly your, your two most common, your hip and your gable, those are gonna be a little bit more resistant to storms than a mansard roof. Now, they're also tough to get permits for, whether they're, they're both in the city or in the county, a lot of times you're just gonna run into problems getting permits to build a roof replacement for a mansard roof. So these are just some things to keep in mind uh, if you have one already or you're looking to put a new one on a new project. All right, so we're gonna end this video by giving you the frequently asked questions that we get from contractors and homeowners about mansard roofs, and I'm also gonna tell you a little bit about the historical significance of these roofs. Now, the most common question that we get is, can you use asphalt shingles on mansard roofs? Now you can, but it's not recommended. There are some other options out there that's a little bit better. Which brings me to my second question, what is the best roofing material to put on a mansard roof? Now, in our opinion, any type of synthetic product uh, whether it be a synthetic slate or synthetic cedar is a great option, but the most common and what we would recommend the most is a cedar shake design. Thank you so much for watching the video. We really appreciate it. And if the information was helpful, please give us a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, here's your official invitation to subscribe to Digital Roofing Innovations. Remember, Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Let's go. So, 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 so,